Can I please speak with her? The only person who was asked to take a second polygraph was Terry Horman. In the first failure, um, I think we were all concerned about, but it was the behavior immediately following and the build up to the next one that I think all of us just found completely unacceptable. Why won't you talk with investigators? Are you cooperating? We can't Not talk about the details of it, but but we passed with flying colors, so. I am just hearing in my ear as we are going to air that police have gone back to Carnes Elementary School as we speak. They are going back and they are researching the elementary school, uh, looking in every nook, every cranny for something they may have missed. This is a shot of seven-year-old Kyron Horman, three foot eight, 50 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes, thick eyeglasses, was wearing a black t-shirt with CSI on it, black cargo pants, white socks, black sneakers with orange trim. His dream was to be a cop. The wire I'm getting right now, KPTV reporting that cops have looked previously at the elementary school, but that they are back. They are also focusing on people who drive pickup trucks. Some in the area are saying that their homes have been searched as well. Police will not comment on the report, but our reports are telling us they are back at the school searching. I'm going to go straight back out to Jean Casares. Jean, um, I want to talk to you about the alleged kidnap by Terry Horman and the sex messages and these photos. How do they fit into the police investigation? Well, it's all very close in time because Michael Cook, who she allegedly hooked up with four days after Kyron went missing, that no. would be in June. The alleged no. kidnap would have been when that temporary restraining order was filed with the court before she was served it. To Bruce McCain, former captain, sheriff's office attorney, also joining us out of Portland, Oregon. Bruce, weigh in. Well, Nancy, the thing that strikes me as most interesting as a lawyer in this case is the role of this family law divorce proceeding. Because if you look at the very beginning, the divorce itself, the restraining order, the contempt charge, the motion to have Terry moved out of her house, everything associated with this divorce case has been fed by the investigators and the district attorney. It really begs the question as to who's actually controlling this divorce process as they open up a secondary legal Let me ask you something, fence. McCain. Why do I care about the divorce process? Because I care it, about finding Tyron. Explain to me why, why that's even relevant to me. Because this is a mechanism to get Terry Corman into court. She cannot ignore this family court law. The prosecutors are the ones who are feeding this information, and they've opened up a second legal front against Terry Horman and is putting pressure on her and her criminal defense lawyer. She now has to appear in court, answer a circuit court judge in September, if not sooner. Bruce McKay, you are absolutely correct. We got 80. Jane was incorrect when she said that Michael Cook and Terry hooked up four days after Kyron went missing. And it clearly states in the documents, and it was stated earlier in the show, that Michael Cook and Terry hooked up four days after Cain went missing. Uh, when Cain left the house. There's a big difference when they report the news and they reported it they didn't report it correctly.